Cal Students for Equal Rights and Valid Education, better known as CalServe, has been a major player in the Berkeley political scene. With Election Day coming up, Cal TV's interviewed some of this year's CalServe candidates for Senate. Hello, my name is Alana Banks. My name is Kylie Vanko. My name is Yoleta Alvarez and I'm currently running for ASDC Senate with CalSERV. Alana Banks is a third year student hoping to represent students in the queer, disabled, and black communities. Her platforms include enhancing financial aid by making it more accessible, recruiting and retaining underrepresented communities, and revising the disabled students program. So there's a lot of things that people don't talk about across communities and I think that one of my biggest goals is to be like, hey, like, I'm queer, I'm black, I'm a woman, and I want all of us to come together and talk about all of these hard topics. I'm also disabled, like, hey, let's have a conversation. I think that's really the first step. And even if I just set that precedent and it keeps going generations to come, that's cool with me, as long as we start those conversations. Kali Vanko is a second year hoping to represent the business community. His platforms include expanding immediate support for anxiety and stress, enriching study spaces by increasing student resources, and creating an entrepreneurial lab. Um, I feel that different representation from different parts of the student body is definitely very important. Basically, I want to have more safe zones for students to go to who have uh, anxiety conditions like myself. Uh, basically, areas that they can go to rest if they have a panic attack or high levels of stress throughout the day. Uh, my second one is geared toward having more rentable technology in places like SLC and Doe Library. Basically, so students can rent iPads or laptops, take them to class really quickly, uh, do some notes, and then take them and return them back, intended for really short-term use. Violeta Alvarez is a transfer student and student parent hoping to represent non-traditional entry students. Her platforms include increasing education opportunities for student parents, expanding the Center for Educational Equity and Excellence, and making the university housing more affordable. I can bring new ideas to the table that other um, ASUC senators perhaps might not have gone through. And at the same time, I feel that there hasn't been, uh, a, student parents haven't been represented in ASUC government in a very long time, and I feel that that's extremely important. And so we need to keep in mind that, that student parents do exist on this campus, and, and they do matter. Good luck to all candidates in the upcoming election, and make sure to vote starting April 7th.